Hello YouTube! Welcome back to ProMine server. This is Kanakidia, and as you can see, I am still a girl. Uh, we still haven't f figured out that, that skin issue, but eventually we'll get that thing licked. But in the meantime, I wanted to get started on my, my first build, which is, uh, as, as I intimated many times before, my covered wagon. Now, I thought about this for a while, and what I actually want to make this covered wagon into is... Da -da -da -da. Future site of Chuck Wagon Steakhouse. That's right, I'm gonna make this thing into a Chuck Wagon. Okay, so a little bit of history. Way back in the far off days, back in the old west, they used to have you know covered wagons. They have wagon trails, they have wagon caravans, you know, for safety and numbers and all that stuff. But oftentimes one of those wagons would be the one that was primarily for keeping the raw meats and different kinds of food and fruits and vegetables and stuff. Because you know, the settlers they had some of the foods of their own, obviously, for when they got to wherever they were going. But you needed at least one wagon that was dedicated for providing food was a few other people in in the w w wagon train. That's what this is. You have the chuck wagon, which is where they used to keep the chuck, or, or the or the, or the, uh, the kinds of steaks that was uh, and cuts of meat that were very tough. The ones that would usually last longer were often and were often um, what do you call it? Dried in, into jerky. So what they would do is they take the chuck and make it into stew or or that kind of thing and leave it in the chuck wagon. So what, here's my plan. I'm going to make the cover wagon not too hard to make. I've made it once before. The oh, sun's almost going down. I'm actually... Yeah, right now I'm alone on, on, on the ProMine server. Uh, Solar Corona was over here a little while ago. He's doing something wacky right over here. I almost think it's like a corkscrew or a blender or something. He's probably going to try and drill, to, uh, drill through bedrock or something like that. That'd be cool to watch. So as I said, the first step is to build Chuck Wagon. Second step... Profit. No. Second step, I'm going to figure out a way, and this is me, and please note my redstone ability is pretty sad. I want to try and make a chow line over here, from here to here, where, where you push a button and you get food. And I'm going to have, have steaks, hopefully apples, pumpkin pie when I get a chance, all kinds of foods. We haven't really, uh, we, we, um, if you notice that this place is a little different than the last episode, that's because, um, the, the, the server decided to adopt, in fact, the plot system instead of doing an organic model. So we had to remove everything that was here before, except for a couple of things we haven't fixed yet. And uh, we inst in instilled this plot system in here. <clears throat> Gonna sleep. I won't get attacked by zombies. But uh, I think our, our still our plan is to um, be able to build beyond this spawn area eventually. However, I think they do want us to try and stay fairly close to spawn. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. I've got a couple of medium to gigantic builds I, I lined up. But I'm not quite sure where to put them, and I'll have to figure that out when I come to chance. Right now, I'm thinking about that hill over there, or possibly that mountain. Maybe that one. Something like that. Something where I, I can see from my base my, my next build. What's that going to be? Well, I'm not going to tell you. I've got a, like a couple of ideas. And it really depends on what I, what I can sort of get away with, actually. So, yeah, I've, I've got a number of things to go on here. So let, let's keep building. Um, all this wool, uh, the uh, the guys who, who did the spawn uh, plus actually did so in creative mode, so I didn't actually need all the wool that I, that I was gathering from, from all the sheep. So I just grabbed a couple stacks, probably more than I need actually. But I just remember the last time I built this in a single player, it took me a long time to, to build because um, because I didn't have that many sheep. To get up there! Oh, that's right, I can't jump two and a half blocks. Oops, yeah, Solar Corona is back. So let me see here. I think the best thing I, think I did last time was just... Yeah, I went three high. Last time I went two high. But I want to make it a little bit bigger because I'm not going to have the Twisted Tower to use as a uh, secondary storage area. Oh, I forgot part of that. I'll just figure out what to do with the front, too, while I'm at it. And up there. I think eventually I want to put some more glowstone here. I, um, we had another portal, but we had to destroy it in, in this um, spawn reorganization. I haven't quite figured out where to put the one new one yet, so I'm not going to go to the nether until they get that figured out. My guess is they are going to build another hub when they get a chance. 
not sure exactly where, what the configuration is going to be. And again, because we're going to try and keep everything together, I don't really know what they're going to do uh, in terms of like, you know, I mean, the reason you make another hub is to make far off distances seem much closer. Not only like the internet. But because we were building everything close by, I don't know exactly what what they're going to do with that. Um, we definitely need some more oak fencing. Oh, I gotta say, I have to say right here now, I love the new the new fencing uh, they add. They added one for each type of wood, in addition, in addition to the individual types of doors. I really like it. The re the uh, recipes for it are getting a little a little hard for me to get used to. Okay, so I just realized if I put the bracing here, it's gonna hit this wheel. So I'm gonna have to do this instead. Just uh, put some dirt so I can climb around here. Make it make it one bigger. All right. Yeah, I, I love the new fencing. It's gonna add a lot of pro different possibilities. One thing that's kind of weird though is that I guess it must have been a glitch because you can see over here, Solar Corona has got on the side of his building, corner of his building, these uh, cobblestone walls. And they look really cool when, when I did the Pork Chop Express. But for one of the uh, snapshots, they actually looked almost metallic. I really like that, but I guess they got rid of it. it must have been a little English. But I got to tell you, of all the languages, that one was really cool. It almost looked like it was a real, like, solid metal pipe. That was really cool. Let's get back in here. Okay, so, uh, did I put it down one or up one? Let's see how it looks. So this is, this is relatively simple. Basically, in the old days, the covered wagons were usually just canvas. At the, at, at, at they would strap, up oh, there's solar down there checking me out, or checking out my build, rather. They were just canvas that they would strap with, with, with wood, leather, and various things. So this is just a way of sort of looking at it like it's a little more self-contained than it actually is. I'll get rid of that dirt when I get a chance. And oh, I've got torches. Uh, I would like to put some glowstone up here, but again, I don't have access to it. I, I have actually killed a couple of witches, so I have a little bit of glowstone, but I don't really want to waste it on this. Because I think once we get the nether portal up and running, we'll have, we'll have access to a better supply of glowstone. And also, I might want to do something with potions beforehand. Or maybe just make a, make a, a, a redstone lamp. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Put a couple of redstone lamps up, up here. Yeah, the one thing I have not figured out in, in, in this cover wagon design, I did it before, I, I said in episode zero, um, with the... I guess you can go, oh, my, my shovel broke. And that's what happens. Uh, there is a an enchanting table in the community chest, but we do not have it uh, yet. So for the time being, I just have to make do with the, the few enchanted things that I have, including my, my enchanted dummy pickaxe, which I should probably, well, eventually I want to I name that thing. I'll call it like, like, like workman's pick or something like that. Oh, I also need, I need more more strapping for that too. Let's grab some more wood. I could use some more wood. I I, I made a couple of trips into into the nearby forest. And, oh, I need more on that actually. All right, so it is in the middle what you want, and the exterior. Oh no, that's the gate. It's the other way around. This one, okay, the middle is stick, and what you want is on the exterior. There we go. And I swear they made these, they made these gates more expensive, uh, fences more expensive, but I don't mind it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that with the exchange that I get to customize what they look like. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if I want to put it down at the bottom. I think it looks a little better. Oh, got that one. It looks a little better just attached to the the wool. Hmm. All right, and put them up here. And up here. Hmm. 
I was wondering if I should... No, you know, I like it. I th okay, so I think what I may have done before was I, m I think I made it a little bit uh, flatter on the top. But no, because I made this three high, I like this. I like this a lot. Excellent. I have a crap ton of, of wool left. Okay, I'm going to drop this stuff off. I don't need this much wool. I think I used maybe two stacks. There we go. I'll keep a, well, yeah, I'll keep a, I'll keep a, a little bit of it. I did, I did shear most of it. Cool, and we have the basis of our, my, my, my chuck wagon steakhouse. Nice. So what's next? Well, I do want to figure out what to, how to put in the, 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 the hitch over there to harness it. Like, one thing I could do is just do something like this. That looks kind of nice. It's almost like a, a little staging area. And I bet I could do... How about that? Eh, no, nah, no, nah, it doesn't quite look what I'm looking, what I'm looking for. I, I want to give the impression of, like, like a, like a stage. You know, like a stagecoach, almost? But I don't want to use that there. There. Maybe just this? Simple? Yeah, it works. Yeah. Hmm, I'm a little concerned about this. Oh, you know what? That would be even better. Even better. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Cut these two. Cut that. And I'm going to extend it. This way, it, it looks looks more like a uh, almost like a balcony. And drop that. I like it. I, I can live with that. It does it does go over the edge a little bit, but I can live with that. Nice. Now at this point, though. Hmm. I'm actually not sure how those things work. I don't. I don't even have uh, a donkey, let alone a saddle, let alone uh, slimes to make um, lead, uh, leads at this point. So it's not really much point in me getting too far into the construction of this rig. On the other hand, okay, so it's that in the middle and this over here. Gamma, gamma. A few more. Yeah, just have some spare around here. I could play around with different fencing, but I really want this thing this, this thing to look simple. So I want that and that. There we go. So this should allow me to hitch two different animals to the front over here. And it'll have a bit of a roam, but I think it's the best I can aim for it. The alternative is I try to build some kind of a frame around here. And every time I've done it, it kind of resembles a bulldozer, and it's not what I'm looking for. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to put some torches in here. Uh, I'll do the interior layout off camera, because that's just moving things around. But I do want to show you what I've done. So oh, it's so weird, though. Sometimes when I do this, this sprint, it gives me like a, like a clunk clunk lag almost. Solar salon, so we can't go to sleep at the moment. Okay, so downstairs here, I've, I've got my little um, farm area. So over here, I have Ganekidia's mushroom. And yes, that is a mushroom, and yes, I'm happy to see it. Okay, so what, what this is, I looked up online, and um, both kinds of mushrooms, both the, the brown and the and the red, require a 7x7x8 seven by seven by space in, in order to grow. So what I did, I put a dirt block in there. I could get a mycelium eventually if we can find a mushroom island, which is possible, I guess. And I'm going to use this to, to generate large amounts of mushrooms for mushroom stew. Eventually, I, I want to get some, some sticky pistons put in here. We have a, a slide back and forth door. So, oh, yeah, we're going to go to sleep. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to organize this thing a little bit. And maybe we'll go on a little bit of an adventure in this episode. See you in a minute. Hello again. Okay, I'm just going to rename my pickaxe here.
Okay, uh, workman's pick. Yep, that'll do. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to name this bow because it's not really that not great. I do. I would like to get a better one. This fishing rod is pretty good. We get luck and lure. It's so letting it get a little, a little better. No, it's not really worth it. And none of these are our chance at the moment. Uh, we, we, we've got um. Oh crap! Why is it never giving me those names now? Pro beast. Pro beast. Pro beast. Got pro beast here in addition to solar corona. I think pro beast is starting to work on the uh, spawn area, maybe the enchanting system. So. He'll, he'll, he'll get on that when he gets a chance. <laughs> so what have I done? I have organized the heck out of the interior in here. Not completely. I do have some room for expansion once I get more materials. But I've got tools, armor, weapons, steakhouse supplies. That's what I'm going to need for, for the expansion of this area. Stones, mob drops, all kinds of good stuff in here. So what, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm not, I am not going to go fishing. Well, I was tempted to do so. I'm actually going to go and do some more um, cutting down of trees. Uh, he did it again with, with that clipping. I think it's a server issue. But what I want right now are... Here we go. The oak tree saplings. Okay, so, so the biome... Okay. I hope he had a good reason to do that. So I'm going to go over here. <laughs> and start cutting down some trees now. I'm not, I'm actually, I, I will need the wood eventually. I'm not gonna laugh in in game because I don't know how serious he was, but it was kind of funny. That not so, not quite so much. But anyway, the reason the reason I'm, I'm cutting down trees is actually not for the wood. You know, I I am gonna need that eventually. The reason I'm doing it is for. Uh, the the apples. Well, one of the things I want, I want to use in my uh, steakhouse is apples. I want to give people a choice of, of desserts, and one of them is going to be apples. Unfortunately, that means I need to cut through a massive amount of trees. There might be a simpler way to do this. I mean, I know, I know you can make tree farms that are uh, limited in height. That might be a little bit easier. And I wish I had my good axe, but uh, my efficiency 2 axe is almost down to nothing. I don't want to lose that enchantment. So I'm just, I'm just gonna cut through here, see what I, what I can find. Hopefully, I, don't, I won't fall through. Now it's funny. Uh, doing doing this kind of work is, you know, it's it's in a way it's fun, but it's also kind of grindy. I don't understand it's not the most interesting thing to look at sometimes, but it does, you know, remind me of a lot of things about Minecraft. So this is it reminded me a lot of the skyblock things that I was doing. Uh, probably much all of them, actually. The um, which was one? I, I I did most of them. I, I well, not did. I I played most of them. I did. Um, what was it uh, JD Cat's map, uh, Agrarian Skies, like six times. My problem with that is that I really didn't like the middle game. And once I get to a certain level of, of uh, building things, the automation, it just kind of got boring to me. So I ended up restarting it. But then I had to make the same thing over and over again. And you can only make so many mobs, mob towers in a row before you get really sick of it. And it also rem reminds me of, of doing um, uh, was it Crash C crash Landing. Uh, that, that's the new, new, new Third Party mod pack. I actually heard about that one first from M. Dio. I watched his YouTube channel. He did a, a quick series on it. I'm not sure he's following up on it. But later I saw, I saw Bacon Donut do it on his stream. Oop, got our first apple. Nice. Only, well, I'd like to have at least nine but before I, I, I put this to, to its eventual use. But um, my, my problem with, with Crash Landing is, is similar to Agrarian Skies. It's that, well, it's similar to it, but I would not, because I really could never get that close into the, into the automation. I, I really, I know the first thing you're supposed to do after you get everything, all the infrastructure down, is start to work on Pneumatocraft, which I kind of want to do because I never really play with Pneumatocraft. I've seen um, 
Battlewolf 20 w w work on the Mattercraft a little bit, but it just seems really confusing. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a, techn a technological version of witchery because it uses all these plants and things. And I know it has these drones, but those are really complicated looking. I know it uses a um, simplified programming, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it, grammar in order to program these drones. And I do not know if I want to get into that. But again, that, that would that, that would have it would have forced me to learn. However, I have to actually get to that point, and I found that I was just struggling so much just to like do the infrastructure stuff and, and, and get um get, get the water that I need just to keep going day day by day. Let alone build up enough of a reserve to start expanding into a, into a brand new mod. So yeah. Oh, sun's going down. Okay, I'm going to cut down this tree, and then we're going to see if we can sleep through the night. And I'll be right back with the wrap-up. Okay, I just had to record this. These guys are just going at it. And as far as I know, both of them are trying to record an episode, and they just keep fighting each other. Kind of funny. Me, I'm just sitting here eating my chicken. Very tempted to shoot him. But no, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, I think they're giving it up. Oh, incoming zombie. Test plate, nice. I don't know. Oh, there's a little, little bit dark spot here. Here I come to save the day. Oh, mini me. There are few, very few times I actually wish I had knockback, and a few of them is when I'm dealing with those little mini me's. <laughs> wow, these guys are coming all over the place. You know, I think it's because we have so much of our area lit up. I actually need the spider uh, string. Same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Gunpowder I don't actually need at the moment, although I'm planning on playing with that in the future. But the string I'm, I think I'm going to need when, when I work on this station here. Okay, folks, I think I think that's... What's with the water? <laughs> okay, I think, it's it, I think it's it for this episode. This has been Kankadia for, uh, for the Promine server. And uh, see you all next time.